So lighting these candles, sorry, these kerosene lanterns. It heats the back wall up of the vine house and keeps a lot of my green plants lovely and warm. So they, not warm, sorry, wrong. It keeps them from freezing. And it sounds like we're gonna have a big storm and a wonderful blast from the north. So I have things that are flowering in here and uh, I don't want them to get frozen. These are, not all of these have worked. Some of these have, these are just cuttings. I'm hope so. And this is my lemon tree. Those are my evergreen agapanthus, so they have to come in. I have other ones that die back in the winter. And here's my geranium population. And some things didn't survive the winter. Partially, I think those got frosted before the new door arrived. And the new door has made a huge difference to how mild um, this remains. It doesn't freeze in here. And a lot of those frosted stuff were over in that corner, which is just where they would have been blasted. So it's early in the day, sorry, early in the evening. It's around, it's after four o'clock and I've lit that, but that's because the wind will uh, blow through all the little air spaces underneath this corrugated. So it's just to keep, you can see there's air spaces there. And my other air spaces, these things, they're closed. But that's just to keep this from frosting. Nothing more, just to keep things from frosting. I love this geranium. That was a gift. Oh gosh, I'm really bad. I can't remember who gave me that geranium. Anyway, that is what I'm doing. Now I've got to go and bring the horses in and the alpaca so that they don't get frozen in the um, sleet. Whoops. And bring them in to the shelter. So, hello you. Hello. So, it's so nice to have this, to be able to bolt it. And there's loads of birds. I started them all, startled them all, that are feeding from this bird feeder here. They love hanging out in the bamboo. Oh, there, there. Look at them all. Once I go away, they'll come back again. But they also have a fat ball right there. So many of them. There's finches and sparrows and robins, all kinds. Okay, I'm going away, guys, so that you can feed up on your protein meals for the night. Look at them all flying away. And the tulips are all coming back, which is lovely. Whether they flower as beautifully this year, who knows? They're going to take a few years to acclimatize to here, so it probably won't be as colorful this year because I didn't plant new ones in. I want these tulips to acclimatize to here, so it'll take a few years for them to do that. Isn't that right? And then this is the helibores. Look at them. They're doing fantastic. And then these dusky primroses. Next year, or this year, I'm going to plant some snowdrops in amongst there. Maybe some crocuses as well. Those would look lovely. But anyway, I'm off to do the alpaca and the horses. <laughs>